Welcome. You're listening to Ask the Doulas, a podcast where we talk to experts from all over the country about topics related to pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and early parenting. Let's chat. Hello, hello. This is Kristen Revere with Ask the Doulas, and I am so excited to chat with my friend Natalie Fay. Natalie Fay is a certified sleep consultant through the Center for Pediatric Sleep Management and a member of the International Pediatric Sleep Association. As founder of Sound Sleepers by Natalie Fay, Natalie works with a diverse array of families to cultivate healthy sleep habits for their children and households as a whole. Welcome, Natalie. Hi, Kristen. It's so good to be here. Yeah, so happy to have you. Now, we first met through a training, a baby registry training. And so it's really fantastic to expand our relationship by um, working on your amazing baby expo, Nine In, Nine Out. Yes. So yeah, thanks for the great introduction. I'm Natalie and I am a certified pediatric sleep consultant and I do own my own sleep business um, where I work with children and families to get sleep where they'd like it in their home. But also I have another hat that I wear and me and my co-founder Jackie Cook have launched new and expecting parent expo called nine in nine out that we have birthed by just being in the postpartum space ourselves as professionals and realizing that there are so many gaps in services that our clients are expressing to us. and But there are so many professionals like us that we know of that we can refer to. So we thought it'd be great to kind of take a a new spin on the classic baby expo and make it less about all the stuff and more about helpful resources and kind of helping to shift the narrative about new parenthood anyway in the U.S. And that's what I loved about your model when I learned about your expo that took place in Wisconsin through Be Her Village and saw all the publicity and with the core focus at Gold Coast being on the newborn care, especially overnights, I do feel like there is so much more focus on say birth doulas and pregnancy prep, but not as much on the postnatal preparation and postnatal resources. So I begged both you and Jackie to bring your (laughs) expo to Grand Rapids. Yes. Yeah. And you know, we were really happy to do so. And it it's it was really encouraging. We we had our first event here in Madison, Wisconsin, where we both live. And it was just such a well-received brand new experience for people that kind of came and just, you know, didn't quite know exactly what it was about because we were brand new. But after being able to walk through and meet face to face with people that are in their community that they could connect with and kind of form a postpartum care team for themselves, it was really encouraging. And we also had some special sessions throughout the day where people could look forward to learning about a topic that they were interested in led by local experts. So that was really cool too. And just having that community uh, was a, was a great thing for Madison and we're excited to be able to take it to a couple new cities and we hope to just keep growing. I love it. So I fill our audience in about your 2024 schedule and the cities that you'll be in, how they can get connected. Absolutely. So For 2024, we have locked in four cities or four dates, three cities. So the first one will be taking place on Long Island, and that one is on March 24th, 2024. And then we will be in Madison on April 14th, 2024. And then Grand Rapids on May 5th, 2024. And then in the fall of 2024, we haven't locked in a date. We're going to run a second event here in Madison. And yeah. Amazing. And that's nice because pregnancy is such a temporary phase and early parenting. And so you're able to meet the needs at different times of the year in your own local market. Yes. And kind of just kind of to hone in on the name nine and nine out itself, we kind of hope to encompass the prenatal pregnancy and then about the first year postpartum. So any sort of professional or resource that would be helpful for someone in those categories is who you'd find at one of our events. 
And I love that, again, you have speakers, people can visit exhibitors, and yeah. there's also the networking for um, the professionals in the birth and baby space. Hey, Alyssa here. I'm just popping in to tell you about our course called Becoming. Becoming a mother is your guide to a confident pregnancy and birth, all in a convenient six-week online program. From birth plans to sleep training and everything in between, you'll gain the confidence and skills you need for a smooth transition to motherhood. You'll get live coaching calls with Kristen and myself, a bunch of expert videos, including chiropractic care, pelvic floor physical therapy, mental health experts, breastfeeding, and much more. You'll also get a private Facebook community with other mothers going through this at the same time as you to offer support and encouragement when you need it most. And then of course, you'll also have direct email access to me and Kristen in addition to the live coaching calls. If you'd like to learn more about the course, you can email us at info at goldcoastdoulas.com or check it out at thebecomingcourse.com. We'd love to see you there. Yes. Yeah, so our audience is kind of twofold. We, we, we're trying to build community in general for everyone involved, but community for the professionals themselves, we offer a networking breakfast before the event. Um, and then also community for the parents that attend. So it's, it's really neat to kind of see that all meld together. Love it. And you do have a premier sponsor for all of the locations. Do you want to chat a bit about that? Sure. So yeah, so for all of our locations, we offer a tiered level of sponsorship. So putting on this event is a lot of effort and it's really wonderful to have so many eager uh, professionals that want to join us at, at the level that feels right for them. So for, yeah, for each, like Kristen said, at each level or at each city, we have not only premier sponsors, but we also are partnering with a local nonprofit to for attendees to be able to donate to that nonprofit when they purchase their event ticket. So that's kind of a something that's important to us is to give back to a cause that's in the, the community that we are actually going to. Excellent. And Be Her Village is a sponsor for each of your cities. In fact, yes. uh, Long Island is you know kind of their home city, at least Caitlin's. Yes. And so Be Her Village, for those that, that don't know, is it's a really great resource for both parents and professionals. So we kind of, we have such a synergistic relationship with them that our, our event is basically like the in-person expression of their online baby registry. So we partnered with them as a premier sponsor in every uh, city in that each attendee and also each birth professional are able to get registered with them at a nice discount. And you're able to actually go through the event and scan a QR code of a provider's table that you really seem to connect with. And you can add it to your Beer Village registry right then and there, which is a really neat aspect of our, our events that our attendees have really enjoyed. Exactly. And each of our businesses are part of the Beer Village registry. So I'm a big fan. Yeah, they're wonderful. So any other thoughts on why families should consider attending an expo like Nine In, Nine Out? Yeah, you know, it's this goes back to the mission that Jackie, my co-founder, and I talked about as we were forming the idea for Nine In, Nine Out. And that is that a lot of times the clients that we see come to us in a place of pain or great challenge and they've gotten there because they hadn't had the resources to support them with sleep or with pelvic floor health or anything in that prenatal or pregnancy or postpartum realm. So instead of waiting for it to get to a point that is so dire, we, we hope to kind of help people start changing the way they think and kind of be proactive about it and realize that there are so many wonderful small businesses and resources that can help them. And so coming to the event is a great way to meet with people face to face and not just read about them on a website and chat with them in real time in your community. And then maybe you find, find out that it could be something that would really benefit your whole overall well-being, mental, physical, and spiritual health. 
Yeah, and even for families who are in that preconception stage of talking about wanting to build a family, it would be a great way to see what your resources are mm -hmm. and learn in advance versus a month before the due date, for example. Yes. Yeah, so it, it's great. And on our, all of our socials, we will be posting kind of what for each event, what you can expect to see. So the vendors and the, the lineup of special sessions. So you can kind of keep a pulse on if something sounds really interesting to you to kind of make sure to attend at that time. And we'll be really transparent about that. And I, I will say too, it, it's kind of meant to be sort of like a self-care day. So we'll, we have coffee and food available at the event. And there's also really fun swag bag so you can get a goodie bag and then you can also enter to win some pretty awesome giveaways that our vendors genuine generously donate so that's kind of a little perk of of being there at an in-person event i love swag so yeah. it's one of my favorite things right? about Who going to it? expos and conferences <laughs> absolutely awesome so if you could share not only your social media channels, but the website with our audience, that would be great. So we are on Facebook and Instagram and it's nine in underscore nine out. And then our website is www.9inandnineout.com. Excellent. So Natalie, let's get into a bit about your sound sleepers business. And sure. I'm curious about, you know, how you decided to pursue being a sleep consultant as a career. Yeah. So I became certified as a sleep consultant in 2020. And this was after a lot of career soul searching. I was actually in graduate school to become a child psychologist. I've always fascinating. Been yeah, I've always liked working with children and families. I know that that is where my passion lies. But it, that actual program and that career that I thought I wanted to do for many reasons turned out to not be what I wanted to do once I was actually in it. So I, I had a, a moment of a little bit of an identity crisis in career in my career path where I, I thought I wanted to do something and it turned out I didn't. So after a lot of soul searching... I am. And also I will say that I had a history of being a professional nanny. So working with families in that way, I realized that I, what I really like to do is work with very young children, especially babies. Also really good at helping parents have their children sleep. And I didn't realize that you could actually do that professionally. And right. once, I, once I found that out, it was almost like, I just felt it in my body that I was like, that is what I'm supposed to do. So I became formally certified. I was really, it was really great to learn a lot of information and like really good research that has been done on sleep for children. And then I became certified and launched my business. And now I support families. I do one-on-one -on -one support. I also do, I'll give talks to small groups. I've done it in my community at like a local preschool. I've even nice. had a chiropractor have me kind of give them some content and they provided that to their pediatric families. So it's, it, yeah, it's been really great. So I, I definitely still am, have that hat on as well. Love it. So how can our listeners find you if they're interested in having you speak virtually or in person, depending on location or, you know, of course, work with you? Yeah. So my my business is called Sound Sleepers by Natalie Fay. My website is soundsleepersbynataliefay.com. And then I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. And that is Sound Sleepers. So yeah, and you can reach out to me via DM on my website. I also have a contact form. So if, whether you're a client interested or interested on business collaboration, you can meet, meet reach me that way. And of course, our listeners can find you at Nine In Nine Out yes. next yes. year in multiple cities. Yes. So if you if you're near any of those cities, please and are interested in, in attending as a new parent, or if you were interested in maybe being a business involved by giving a talk or being a vendor or a sponsor, just please go ahead and reach out, and we'd be happy to to share with you a little bit more about how that would work. Excellent. Any final tips for our listeners, Natalie? No, I, I guess just my, our message that we're trying to give out into the world is that you, you know, you're, it's, 
things are better done in community. So no one, no one is alone and it. There's a lot of resources out there for new and expecting parents. Uh, so just make sure to, to look to your community. That's kind of the message and what we're trying to, to put forward with nine in nine out. Great advice. Well, thank you so much for your time and I will see you next year. Sounds great. Thank you, Kristen. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Natalie. Thanks for listening to Ask the Doulas. For more information about Gold Coast Doulas, visit us on our website, goldcoastdoulas.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and give us a five-star review. Thank you. Remember, these moments are golden.